All right, folks, this is part two of the other video I made. Just trying to get uh, idle dialed in because the uh, last one obviously wasn't uh, where we needed it on the top end. Uh, Anthony Dugan is uh, kind enough to let us uh, videotape his logs for us today. Now, of course, uh, as you can see, our idle is maybe a tad bit lean here, but also, too, I want to point out is that we're in open loop. We're locked into open loop on, on this particular tune. Sometimes it's good to have a closed loop, or most of the time, but sometimes bigger injectors don't particularly care to uh, idle all that well. Sometimes it's even uh, small ones don't. So let me just show you the difference here of open loop and closed loop. You see how smooth it is over here. Bear with me, we got some lag time here, but see now it's going all up and down. So that being the case for this his particular car, we have it locked in open loop. And then basically all I do is uh, adjust dead time to get it back in control. So anyway, as I said uh, before, we're gonna have a nice smooth SD table, but I just wanted to show you the difference. See, now I have it locked back into open loop and it's smoothing out a little bit more. So it's not all up and down and all over the place. So sometimes it is handy to have it locked into open loop. Just have to know the precautions to take when you have it in open loop because the closed loop, uh, or if it's not in closed loop, the uh, ECU is not going to be, or the O2 sensor is not going to be feeding back to the uh, ECU telling it how much fuel needs to be adjusted. Now, I said before we're going to have a nice smooth table here and we needed to be adjusted over in this area right over here. So oh, I guess it would help to uh, copy my table that I have. So bear with me just a moment. I'm going to have to open that table. So if y'all bear with me just a moment. See, this one's a lot smoother than the other one. So, and you'll see the difference here. Not a whole lot, but it smooths it out on that little bottom end there where it's not very smooth. So, that being said, we're back to where we were. This, our lines are about lined up where they should be. And we said we wanted to be at, uh, what, 525 cc's for his injectors. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to knock it down a little bit at a time and then bear with me because we've got some lag time because of an internet connection here but basically i'm going to drop it down a little bit at a time so okay well he's got 801 in here so we're going to have to recalculate so we got 801 and i think we said 30 i think is what we went after before so we're going to say 100 divided by 130, I believe is what we'd used. And then times the current size injectors that he has is 801. That's going to put us down about 616 cc's. Okay, so now that we're 801, I'm going to drop it down about 100 at a time. You know, calculate, use, now also two, of course. We need to lower this down. I usually do this about 50 at a time. So it's going to be about, what, 45, give or take. Even things out a little bit. Didn't adjust the uh, air fuel mixture too much. Kept it somewhat in line. Now we just want to keep doing this until we get down to the desired, what do we say we wanted, 616. Right around that. And then we should be done. And then as soon as he's done, uh, let's see, we said six, 16, so it won't take as long at all. We'll just follow up with a 616. I don't normally like to drop the injector size down to more than 100 because then it's, uh, sometimes the car won't like it because it's all of a sudden uh, either adding or subtracting that much fuel all at one time. And then uh, might want to stall out some. So we're going to say about 500 here of course we may have to give or take a few on the uh, dead time Let's see I've, I've uh, got a little bit too much fuel I didn't subtract enough dead time so we're gonna drop it down a little bit more all right 
all I'm trying to do right now is lower the dead time I'm trying to lean the mixture out a little bit here so kind of got to guess a little bit just lower it down just trying until it gets to where it should be and of course keeping in mind we're totally ignoring the uh, fuel trims on this right now so let's see so we're we'll say about 400 we'll guess around that see where that puts us there we go getting it more right around where we should have it it'll start to smooth out a little bit more now so and we look at what our wideband factor is pretty close to zero right about where we want it so what we're going to say is pretty uh, pretty dialed in as far as idle is concerned now we'll have him go out and do another third gear pull and once he does hopefully these lines up here should about even out and we'll take a look at that and we'll go over a little bit more of the uh, speed density and uh, part three of our video as far as uh, tuning speed density and maybe try and go over some more details but uh, that's it for now stay tuned